And now to an unexpected danger involving the financial meltdown. Sadly, in some cases, it can lead to the worst pain a parent can experience, the loss of a child. NBC's Kerry Sanders is in Fort Lauderdale to explain. Kerry, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Matt. In some parts of the country, it's common to have a swimming pool in the backyard. But increasingly, behind homes that are in foreclosure, this is what they look like. They're dark, they're dirty, and sadly for some children, intriguing as they follow their curiosity into the deep end. 911, where is your emergency? A child fell in the pool. Her grandparents thought Cheyenne Jenkins was playing out back. She fell in the pool. She's okay, breathing. okay, you've got a child who fell in the pool and is not breathing. Instead, the five year old had wandered into the backyard of a foreclosed home. Please hurry, she's turning blue. Despite efforts to revive her, Cheyenne died. I'm angry. I'm angry that nothing was done. I'm angry that my daughter was taken away because nothing was done. Cheyenne's tragedy is a worst case example of unintended consequences of foreclosure. An estimated four million Americans today live next door to a home that's in foreclosure. Conventional wisdom suggests the bank would want to protect its assets, but that rarely happens. Why? If lenders do go in and they try to make repairs or they try to do things to improve the situation, they could be sued. So why go down that path? It's exactly the way she left it. Cheyenne's mother. Her, you know, pajamas are still on the floor. <laughs> Stuffed animals she throws out of the bed. She wants to blame someone, but who? The bank? The homeowner? The city? Even her lawyer's not sure. The problem here is that we were in limbo. In Indio, California, those faraway faceless bankers are now, by law, on the hook. Citibank recently paid a stack of fines after letting pools and homes go into disrepair. City says it takes prompt action when it's notified. Still, the message to bankers is clear. If you continue that, you know what? We will fine you and we will also get an arrest warrant for the CEO of the bank. In Pinellas County, Florida, meet the foreclosure fish. Here, it's not just the drowning danger in a scummy pool. These bodies of water are also mosquito breeding grounds. Mosquitoes are capable of carrying virus and it could be a health issue. So in this pool, the neighbor actually has put goldfish to control the mosquitoes. Now, one obvious question is, why not just empty the pool? But structurally, that can cause problems. You take all the water out of the pool, then it actually weighs it down, Matt, and if the water's out, in some cases, the pool can pop up out of the ground and break. Just a uh, tragic situation, and really, people need to keep their eyes open on it. It really is a tragic situation. Kerry, thank you very much for shedding light on it.